What's good people, it's Ocean here. Welcome to my video, welcome to my channel if you are new. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make your own sounds, how to make your own drum pack. This is the video I wish I had when I first started making my own sounds. This is gonna be like the ultimate guide. If you ever wondered how do producers make their own drum sounds, you're gonna learn more in this video. I recently dropped my own drum pack Atlantic links in the description if you want to cop that and this is the method that I use to make it So if you want to sell your own drum kits or even if you just want to use it for yourself This is the video for you. I'm giving away the secret sauce the secret sauce. So yeah without further ado Let's get into it I got FL studio open and One of the most important things to do when you're making drum sounds is to start with sounds that are plain or don't really have any effects added onto it already. So I've got this pack here which has plain drum sounds, no effects onto it, just plain hi-hats, plain kicks. And what this does is it allows me to mold these into the sound that I want to. So first one I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna do a snare as you can hear sounds super plain. So some things you can do to it to change up the sound is I double clicked on the snare and this opened up then I like to change the attack, you can make it slower, you can add the hold, you can turn these knobs to adjust it to the sound that you want and it's literally just playing it and listening and finding the sound that you want. You can also change out the pitch, this actually sounds a lot like a clap. So what I'm doing, I'm just adjusting the knobs and just listening and finding the sound that I like. After I do that, I put this into the mixer, open up the mixer, and then you can add other effects here. So you can add some delay, some distortion, you can change up the EQ. So I'm just gonna change up the EQ really quick. Maybe I'll even add in some reverb. And I'm gonna add in some distortion too. And that's basically the clap. I'm quite happy with how the snare, well actually it's now a clap, I'm happy with how the clap sounds and you can tell that it sounds different to the original. So once now that I've done the clap, before I actually save this sound I just want to hear how it sounds as a loop. So I'm going to add in some kicks and make a quick drum loop just to hear how it sounds. So I'm happy with that clap, I think it sounds good. So the way that I save this sound now is I open up the mixer, I open up Edison, and then I record the sound. Now as you can see, we've got the sound in Edison. We kind of just want to take out all that white space there that doesn't have any sound. You want to zoom in as much as possible so you don't actually clip the sound, you just take out the space that isn't the sound. And then what I do now is double click, edit, cut. Then I open up a new Edison. Then I paste it in. And now that's the clap. We have the clap here. So you can just go and save that. I'm gonna go ahead and save this as clap. And now we've got the clap. Now we've got the clap, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing for the kick. It sounds quite ordinary at the moment. I think I'm going to adjust the attack on this. Sometimes as well, when you're making sounds and you adjust it so much, what started out as a kick might become a perk. It might become a snare, it might become a clap. This one sound, it sounds like a kick still. But if I wanted to and I took out more of the attack, maybe it would sound more like a perk. Just gonna adjust the pitch. 
sounds a bit more bouncy now. Let me hear the original. There's many different ways that you can change your sounds and mold it how you want. But personally, when I double click the sound and we come to this pop-up box, I just like to adjust the attack, hold, all of these knobs here and the pitch. Then we go into the mixer. I'm going to assign it to mixer 3. Again, we're just going to choose some effects to add onto it. So I'll add in that's distortion again. And I'll add in some EQ. And then once you're done with your sound, you can test it to see how it sounds in a loop. I'm happy with that sound. So I'm going to go into Edison now. And I'm going to go ahead and record that sound. Now you want to take out the white space again as best as you can. Zoom in so you can see that you're not chopping out any of the sound. You want to get the whole sound. Then you double click, edit, cut, open up a new one, control V, and there you have it. That's your that's the kick sound here. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that. Now when it comes to perks in my plain kit folder, I don't actually have a perk sound. I find perks in many different places, it could even be on the street, I just sample something that sounds like a cool perk, but a good place to look is YouTube videos. You can find perks in the re really the randomest of places. The other day I was listening to a Skepta song and he sampled a perk from the Amsterdam trams. The trams that they run in Amsterdam, they have like a strange sound and he sampled it. I've gone ahead and downloaded a random Amsterdam tram video on YouTube which has the perk and I'm just going to go ahead and play that. If you can hear that sound right there, it's very unique. So what I'm going to do is chop up this sample and try and get that perk sound. So I'm actually going to go into Edison again and record that section. It's got a lot of background noise, so it's not going to be perfect. We'll try and do the best we can. Go ahead and cut this. Open up a new one. Now I'm going to save this sound. I've dragged the tram sound into FL Studio. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the mixer and I'm going to EQ it and try and take out as much of the background noise as I can. It's not going to be perfect, but it will sound better than with loads of that background noise in. That's the best I can get this sound. It's got a bit of background noise in there. But I think once you're making a beat and you put this perk in, the other sounds should be able to drown out all that background noise. That's about it. That's how you make your own sounds. That's how you make your own drum pack. I've done a kick and a snare where I changed the snare to a clap, a perk. And you could do the same thing for hi-hats, for 808s, for any sound you want to do. Those are the basics. If you have more plugins, then you'll be able to change up the sound as much as you want. You can also stack sounds, so if you're creating a snare, you could add in two different snares that sound different, or a snare and a perk that sound different, and merge it into one sound. There's so many things you can do, there are no rules to this. This is just a guideline on how you can do it in FL Studio. I hope it helped you guys. If it did, leave a comment below, give a thumbs up. I hope this helps you make your own drum kits, but also make sure you cop mine. It's in the link in the description below. It's sick, it's got all the trap sounds that you need. I've got a sample kit coming on the way, I'm working on it. But yeah, that's about it for this video. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button right now. We're approaching 5,000 subs. And yeah, I'll see you in the future.